What's going on, YouTube? Noob vs. Pro here. I'm Aaron, and welcome to another installment of GTA 5. Um, when we left off, we basically blew a guy's head off with a cell phone, and uh, now I just got a call from my wife, so I now I have to decide if I should help her or not, and I'm gonna say yes. Oh, now you want me. Alright, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policemen, you worthless turd. Yeah, so something's going on with my wife, so I, I gotta go help her out, because, you know, I'm a family guy. I got a minute 15 seconds? Holy shit. I'm getting timed here? Oh shit. Give me your vehicle. I gotta help my girl out. You know, she cheated on me and stuff, but you know what? She's forgiven. She's forgiven. So once we do this, we'll play a mission, and yeah. Now she needs me, of course. A fucking course. She needs me now. What a slut! You know, she's horny and stuff, and she's like, Now, Michael. Now I want you, Michael. <laughs> that was a nice car. Wow. Okay. So I think I'm the police. Get in the cop car. Am I driving her? Oh my god, I gotta lose the cops. Reckless. Reckless. I just had a. I gotta lose the cops. Wow, I just saved her ass. Ooh, I got this. I'll make a right up here. Oh shit, helicopter? Oh no. Yo, I'm losing them pretty nice here though. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yes. Yes. I got this. I got this, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm out of the cone. I'm out of the cone. I like how they do that in, the, in this game. It's very cool. Good idea. Yes! I did it! I'm a boss. Now I better get some dome. <laughs> Just kidding. Um... So that was actually not that hard. Yeah, the thing is about this game is it has the uh, the cone opportunity where it like basically shows you you know different you know where their peripherals are I guess, which kind of gives it a cool touch because you kind of know which way to avoid them. And in, in, in GTA 5, uh, in the, uh, excuse me, in the other GTAs, there is nothing that told you where cops are. Nothing. Oh man, they're fighting hard right now. Michael's going through a lot, man. What are we going to do with this car after this? I'm going to have to dump it somewhere for sure. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at. Wow, what a bitch. Big love. Get out of my car, bitch. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and yeah. Thank you. Okay, well... Now I gotta dump the car somewhere, or do I do I not have to? Good husband, the good husband. <laughs> okay. Um. Can I just like, I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh. Damn, I got a bullet in my fucking back. Look at that shit, man. I'm such a good husband. Okay. Let me uh. Grab a car. Which one? Which one? Let me take the yellow one. Is this my son's car? If you bought me a car, I wouldn't have to steal my sister's. You turd. I ain't, you ain't coming with me, boy. All right, let's uh, let's make a waypoint to Lester's house and then do a mission with him. Um, yeah, we'll we'll worry about Franklin a little bit later on. We'll just uh, we'll just show now. I'm sure Franklin will actually be a part of this mission eventually. Um. But yeah, let's go to Lester's and uh, see what he's got in store for us. Whoops. Alrighty, looks like we finally made it to Lester's house. He lives so far. My gosh, what's his deal? What is his deal? Okay. Oh, 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 whoops, whoops. Oh, it's not his house. It looks like it's like some other place I'm just meeting him up at. Like a restaurant this is, or? Oh no, it looks empty. Let's see, I'm excited. We'll see, we'll see what the deal is. Mike, I said look nice. Hola. Can you put a suit on? I gotta get a suit. God damn it. So literally, guys, it has taken me the past, like, ten minutes to fucking get a suit. 
Literally, I went to three different stores, and they were all discount stores, and nothing looked professional. So finally, I just decided, you know what? I have fucking suits at home. So I went home, took a taxi cab home, put on a suit, and now I'm back at Lester's. Finally. And now we can finally start this freaking mission. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Here we go. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. No, oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in L.S. or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Alright, cool. So it looks like we're gonna actually rob something. Which is pretty tight. I'm excited. So I'm not sure where we're going right now. But I'm just gonna follow the waypoint and yep, yeah, that's it. I'm excited to rob a place, as weird as that is. Um, also, uh, when I was just roaming around, I also got a call from the IT guy, one of the guys that I, uh, when I, when I went into that room, that, like, office, and, like, he wanted, like, he knew that I did that, that I, that I killed that guy, Jay Norris or whatever, and, like, he was asking me if I could ever, if he ever needs help, if I ever need help to hit him up, so I guess he can help on heist. I know one of you guys said to me, like, hey, Aaron, like, you should do more heists, and uh, I haven't had the chance to do any yet um, because I didn't really have anyone. Maybe I could have like called someone. I'm not exactly sure. I'm still getting the, the kinks of this game. Um, but yeah, let's see uh, what the hell this is up here. Lester seems pretty intense. He seems like the guy in the Matrix that kind of just communicates with everyone. <laughs> so we shall see. Take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Alright, let's see. Oh, up here. <laughs> here we go. Kaka. Here we are. Oh, snap. This is kinda cool. All right, shut up. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Gotta get the information about this place, the insight. Thank you, sir. Sir, thank you. Glasses are live, shoot away. All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. All I need is a shot of the alarm keypad. The keypad and we're done. Hmm. Okay, where's that keypad at? I gotta be careful in here. There it is. Okay, you zoom in for him. Uh, shots come through. Camera check. Alarm check. Vents check. Oh man. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Oh, we gotta talk. Talk to this lady. Let's see. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. 
So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelical logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. Damn, he spent some serious game. Thank you, sir. You too. Wonderful day as well. Kaka. Okay, so we gotta go back to Lester. So it looks like we had to get some insight on what the fuck is going on in that jeweler to see, you know, if he can hack the cameras or, you know, all that type of good stuff. I just knocked that guy over. Chill out, Lester. I'm going as fast as I can, dick. Alright. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Oh, get back in the car? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Now I get out of my fucking car. How stupid. Okay, Spider-Man. So you keep up with the old crew? Now after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Stairs up here? Yeah, yeah. alright, cool. After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, okay, I guess this is not where I go. Did I miss a ladder or something? I think I did. Up these stairs. Alright. Alright, going up the ladders. That's what's up. Alright. I guess I go over here. Am I on the roof of the place or? I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. Alright, I'm gonna go up here. It's funny, if you don't if you jump wrong, like not precisely, then you can you fall and you fucking get hurt. It's realism, folks. Realism. Realism. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Northwest side. So over there? Or what? Maybe over here. Yeah, probably over here, I'm gonna assume. Yeah, alright, cool. Look at me knowing stuff like this. No, my compass. Fucking bear grills. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's over here. Okay, did I do it? Oh, no oh, shit. Okay. Back to the car I go. Back to the Michael Mobile. Here we go. What if Michael was Batman? I'm dead. Wow, what a boss. Excuse me, he's Spider Man after that jump? Yep. And he slid? What a goon. Man, I haven't used the word. Oh, he slid again. This guy's too cool. Oh, he just got his stomach destroyed. Okay. Maybe I can. Is This, this would be dumb, guys, right? Yeah. Let's Let's not. Let's not do that. I know some of you are like, do it, Aaron. Jump, jump, jump. Come no. on, Michael, let's go. All right. Oh my God, he's such a bitch. Now, are we actually gonna rob something now, or we're we gonna wait till night? Like, what's the deal? What's the deal? Hey. Let's see what's popping over here, cause I'm curious, cause I want to rob some shit ASAP. ASAP, Robin. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. All right, going to the factory and gonna see what's popping. All right, we made it back to Lester's, the garment, the garment factory. I think. No, we went the wrong way. But yeah, they're talking about how, um, how we're gonna have to rob it during the day instead of at night because of security and stuff or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I guess it's a day, a day heist. Look at my chrome car, Justin Bieber car. Oh, come on. I have to really drive up to this spot. Okay. Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. 
Nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? All right, guys, I think I'm going to play it smart. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnel. We're going to go with Eddie. He's, I don't know, 14%. That's fine. I'd rather have someone that knows what he's doing than someone who has no idea and good composure. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Yeah, so we'll do Norm Richards. Ah, Norm. Came across as uh, yeah, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. We'll go with, uh, Christian. Okay, you know, he's not the best, but if you move fast, that won't matter. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Yep. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Yes, huh? good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. All right, well, we just passed the mission, guys. Um, I'm going to leave us off on a cliffhanger here um, before we do the heist. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below for me. If you want me to continue playing GTA, leave a comment down below letting me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys. Oh. Let's hear this. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. It's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Alrighty, well that's the phone call. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.